Hello students, today we are going to study a new chapter, why do we fall ill? It happens with every one of us, we fall ill sometimes and then we go to doctor and take proper treatment for that. But before starting it, I want to discuss you about the health. What is health? Health means when you are physically, mentally and socially happy or fit. Okay, according to WHO, according to WHO, uh, health means a state of physical, mental and social well-being of a living organism. Okay, so let's start. First of all, we will discuss about the health. What is health? It's very important. If you are healthy, if you are happy, then you will do your other works very nicely or more efficiently. So, health has a very important part in our life. It is said that health is wealth. Why it is said? If you are healthy, then you can perform your work, your function very nicely or in a better way. So, according to WHO, what is a health? A health is a state, a state, we can see a state of mental, physical or social or social well-being of a living organism without any discomfort, without any discomfort, clear, get it, what is health? A health is a state of mental, physical or social well-being of a living organism without any discomfort. Then WHO again has given three dimensions to define it. According to WHO, according to WHO, WHO means World Health Organization, there are three dimensions. What are they? Physical dimension, mental dimension and social dimension. physical dimension, okay, then mental dimension, and social dimension, what are they, physical dimension means if all the parts of body are functioning well, means proper function of all the body parts are included in physical dimension. Thus you can say proper functioning of body parts. Okay, that is physical dimension, means all the body organs, all the body parts are working nicely as we know all the organ systems are made up of different organs. If they all are working nicely, they are working in proper manner, that is physical dimension. Mental dimension, mental dimension means the harmony of an individual between the society, okay. Harmony between individual and society. In which environment you live, it affects your health. If you are feeling good, means you are happy in your surroundings that affects the mental health. Next is social dimension. 
सोशल डायमेंशन मीन्स आर सोसाइटी एज वी नो वी आर सोशल एनिमल्स ऑल दी ह्यूमन्स आर सोशल एनिमल्स दे लिव इन अ सोसाइटी दैन दैट सोसाइटी अफेक्ट अस completely how does it affect if you are living in a clean society then it will give you a good health if you have good relationships with your neighbors then you will feel happy and it will affect your health you will be healthy forever means relation with the society clear so these are the factors which affect the health physical dimension mental dimension and social dimension okay now what are the things which keeps us good healthy next is what is necessary for the good health what factors these were the factors which were affecting the health now factors which are needed for the good health factors needed for good health are or thus we can say the things we need for the good health are proper diet okay proper diet personal hygiene good hygiene or personal hygiene okay we need to have good food clean drinking water clean drinking water good food so these are the things we need for our good health is it clear okay now we will discuss about the disease what is disease this is the thing about the health how do you feel healthy how do you say a person is healthy if a person is good in looking he is completely fit then the person is healthy enough okay now we will discuss about the next topic disease what is disease when you go out you see in your uh, different people in your surroundings then you can notice different functions in their organs you can notice different changes thus you can recognize that the person is suffering from a disease next is what is a disease next topic is disease okay so what is a disease when you notice a change in physical or some function of an organ then we see we feel that a person is suffering from a disease thus we can say that any physical or functional change in an organ that is called a that make a person discomfort is called a disease any physical or functional change or functional change from normal state from normal state which makes an organism discomfort okay 
suppose yesterday you were feeling good today you are not feeling good today you are feeling discomfort because you are suffering from fever you are suffering from common cold then you are suffering from a disease okay so how do you know how do you know that person is suffering from a disease definitely if you feel changes from the normal state then you can identify that a particular is person is suffering from a disease okay so next thing is what does a disease look like what does a disease look like definitely when a person is functioning well in a day and after some time if you feel some changes in functioning of an organ then you can identify that he is suffering from a disease okay how does it look like then there are some symptoms that that help you to identify that person is suffering from a disease what are symptoms actually symptoms are the problems like fever common cold diarrhea vomiting etc that tells you that a person is suffering from a disease symptoms when you look at a person by seeing these symptoms you can identify that definitely the person is suffering from a disease what are symptoms symptoms are problems symptoms are problems like fever common cold vomiting etc which make the person discomfort person discomfort and indicates or we can say and prove that person is suffering from a disease clear now once a person is suffering you find some symptoms in a person then you take that person to the doctor then what he does then doctor send the person to the laboratory for some tests and then they give some signs they tests give you some signs that indicates that person is suffering from a particular disease then what's the difference between symptoms and signs symptoms are just problems it's starting stage we can say that they are the first stage they introduce you that person is suffering from a disease but when you take a person to the doctor then doctor give, uh, send that patient to the laboratory and then test is give you the signs that this person is suffering from the particular disease thus we can say that signs signs provide or we can say signs in the, uh, yes signs provides presence of a disease or we can say signs provide confirmation of presence of a disease clear so this is a difference between symptoms and signs okay now how does a health get affected okay what are the issues
if we talk about the different issues which affect our health then they can be personal issues and they can be community issues if we talk about the personal issues then personal issues suppose if i'm doing exercise regularly then that exercise will keep me fit if a person is dancing regularly then he will feel happy if a person sings then he will feel happy if a person takes good food nutritious diet definitely it will keep him healthy okay so these are the personal issues but what about community issues if a person is living in bad surroundings suppose garbage are there on the roads definitely it will uh, uh, it will develop the germs and germs will uh, develop the diseases and the it will affect the health of an organism okay job job is the another community issue if a person having a good job definitely he has good earnings and if ha he has good earnings he will get good food so we can say that personal issues and community issues affect the health of a individual okay now we will talk about the causes of diseases next is causes of diseases how does disease affect us what are the factors which affect our health what how does the disease occur then there are many factors which causes the diseases they may be external factors and they may be internal factors there are two types of factors external factors and internal factors what are the external factors external factor includes our surrounding if our surroundings are clean then we will be happy we will be fit if our surroundings are not clean then we may fall sick external after then surroundings pollute surrounding will affect our health polluted surrounding will affect the health okay another thing is food if you are taking good food then you will be fit if you will take unhealthy food then you will fall sick another factor is food if you will take healthy food then you will be fit if you will take unhealthy food may cause many diseases water if you will drink unhealthy water polluted water then you may fall sick unhealthy or polluted water may cause diseases okay another thing is surroundings as i told you polluted surroundings so many polluted gases if you will breathe polluted gases in your body then you may fall sick okay so these are the main factors which are external factors and which will affect your body now internal factors now before discussing the internal factors let me tell you few more factors of the external factors they are like if you come in the context with the microorganism that like virus bacteria okay then they affect your body and you may fall sick they may cause diseases and you may fall sick another factor is diseases causing microorganisms diseases causing 
माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स लाइक वायरस बैक्टीरिया एक्सेट्रा वेन यू कम इन द कॉन्टेक्ट विद दीज ऑर्गेनिजम बाय एयर बाय डायरेक्ट कॉन्टेक्ट ओके देन यू मे फॉल सिक देख मे कॉज डिसीज एंड यू मे फॉल सिक when comes in contact by air or direct contact they cause diseases okay another factor is if a person consumes alcohol tobacco regularly then it may affect his health it may cause diseases next is tobacco alcohol are harmful and cause many diseases okay so these are the factors these are the external factors which you get from the environment which affect the body human body from the environment okay but what are the internal factors which affect the health and causes diseases malfunctioning of body parts if any body part is not functioning well you may fall sick you it causes diseases malfunctioning malfunctioning of body parts okay malfunctioning of immune system if your immune system is not working properly then if any virus and bacteria attack on your body you may fall sick they can cause diseases malfunctioning malfunctioning of immune system genetic disorder if any genetic disorder is there means hereditary is there then it will cause diseases in the further generation genetic disorder next is hypo or hyper secretion of hormones hypo or hyper secretion of hormones okay so these are the internal factor that affects our health and cause diseases now we will discuss about the types of diseases types of diseases generally diseases are of two type diseases are of two type acute disease and chronic disease chronic disease if a disease affect our health a living beings health for a short time then it is acute 
disease okay suppose if a person is suffering from fever suffering from common cold then he may suffer from a for a short time okay and these diseases does not harm the human body greater much okay they do not harm the body much so let's talk about the acute diseases they occur for short time okay not cause much harm to living organism or human body example fever common cold cholera etc okay so these are the short term diseases if we talk about the chronic disease then they are the long term diseases means they affect the human body in a drastic way and they may be occur for the lifetime chronic diseases occur for the long time or we can say lifetime causes a great damage great harm to human body like tuberculosis cancer these are the diseases which have the long time period and then they causes a great harm to the human body tuberculosis cancer etc okay now we will learn about these diseases in the detail thank you